He talks to me about horses. I used to live on a course. One of the loves of my life. Epsom, I knew it like the back of my hand. What a marvellous open air life. He talks to me about horses. You only read the names in the papers, but I've held them. I've stroked the manes. I've calmed them down before a big race. I was the one they always used to send for. Max did say, there's a horse here. He's highly strung. We need you to calm him. It was true. I had a... I had an instinctive understanding of animals. I could have been a trainer. Many times I was offered a job by the Duke of... Uh, well, I forget his name. One of the Dukes. But I had family obligations. My family needed me at home. The times I've watched those animals thundering past the post. What an experience. Well, I knew I didn't lose. I made a few bob out of it. And you know why? I always had the smell of a good horse. You can smell him. And not just the colts, but the fillies. Because the fillies are more highly strung than the colts. Did you know that? Ah, what do you know? Nothing. But I could always tell a good filly by this one particular trick, you know? I'd stand in front of her, and I'd look her straight in the eye. It was a kind of hypnotism. And by the look deep down in her eye, I could always tell whether she was a stayer or not. It was a gift. I had a gift. And he talks to me about horses.